the Galactic Empire, under the command of Emperor Palpatine, is unrivaled in its tyranny, with its iron grip stretching across countless star systems. The Empire's war machine moves like a juggernaut, crushing any resistance and plundering the resources of newly discovered planets. On the fringes of the known galaxy, where star charts turn to blank voids and ancient legends whisper of hidden dangers, a scouting fleet of the Imperial Army makes a fateful discovery, a lush, mysterious moon orbiting a distant, uncharted gas giant. This moon, however, is no ordinary world. It belongs to an ancient species known only to those few who have survived to tell the tale, the Yacha. Known to most as predators, they live for the hunt, traveling between the stars to seek out and slay the most dangerous prey in the galaxy. Their honor is measured in the trophies they claim, the skulls of the worthy enemies they have defeated. As the Imperial forces land and begin their assessment, they do not realize that they have set foot on sacred ground, a hunting world of the Predators. Unbeknownst to the Imperials, the Predators have been watching their every move. For these aliens, this is a new kind of prey, soldiers bred for war, trained in discipline, equipped with blasters and armor. To the Predators, the Empire is an irresistible challenge. The Imperial Transport Shuttle Resplendent, accompanied by two smaller patrol ships, enters the atmosphere of the uncharted moon. Dense, towering jungle stretch as far as the eye can see, interspersed with jagged mountain peaks and deep valleys. Commander Creel, a grizzled officer of the Imperial Army, watches from the bridge as his scouting units are deployed to the surface. It's just another mission for the Empire, a reconnaissance of a potential new world ripe for exploitation. Commander Creel's tactical officer approaches, saluting. Commander, the initial scans report rich mineral deposits in a stable ecosystem. This moon could serve as an ideal outpost. Shall I order the ground teams to proceed? Creel nods. Send them. Set up a perimeter and begin extracting resources. I want this place mapped and cataloged by the end of the day. Stormtroopers deploy from dropships, fanning out into the jungle. The thick canopy offers little visibility, but their scanners pick up faint readings of large life forms nothing that should pose a threat to the Empire's elite soldiers. Little do they know, they are being watched. High above in the treetops, cloaked in advanced technology, a predator hunter observes the stormtroopers. Its mask enhances its vision, allowing it to track the soldiers with ease. It clicks its mandibles, intrigued by the movement patterns and coordinated tactics of the Imperials. These soldiers, while primitive by Yacha standards, represent a new type of prey, but the Yacha is not alone. Others, hidden in the dense jungle, are also ready to join the hunt. As night falls, the jungle comes alive with strange sounds. The stormtroopers, in their white armor, seem like beacons against the darkness. Suddenly, a crackling sound rips through the still air, and a brilliant bolt of plasma strikes one trooper in the chest. His armor melts away, and he crumples to the ground. Ambush, one of the officers shouts, but before the troopers can even raise their blasters, Another plasma shot blasts through the ranks. Panic sets in as the stormtroopers realize they can't see their attackers. The jungle, now a shadowy labyrinth, becomes their tomb. As they struggle to regroup, something moves faster than their sensors can track. A yacha drops from the trees, slashing with its wrist blades, taking out several stormtroopers before vanishing back into the foliage. Blaster fire is scattered, hitting nothing but jungle vines and thick trunks. These warriors of the Empire, trained for battle in every environment, are unprepared for the kind of predator they now face. By morning, over half of the scouting party is dead. Stormtrooper helmets, cracked and bloodstained, are the only markers of where they once stood. Those who survive limp back to the landing zone, barely able to comprehend what they've encountered. Commander Creel, receiving panicked transmissions, orders an immediate retreat. He knows this is no ordinary engagement. A distress call is sent to the fleet, along with a report of unknown hostiles that have decimated his forces. We need reinforcements, Creel mutters under his breath. Something, something we can't fight with standard tactics. On board the Star Destroyer Executor, the message from the moon reaches Darth Vader. He stands in his darkened chamber, the hum of his mechanical breathing the only sound. His red-tinted lenses gaze at the report. An entire regiment of stormtroopers lost. Unacceptable. Vader's connection to the Force allows him to feel the fear and confusion radiating from the survivors. He senses that something powerful stalks that moon, something worthy of his personal attention. Stepping from his chamber, Vader summons his elite detachment of death troopers, the most fearsome and highly trained soldiers in the Imperial military, 
augmented with superior armor weapons and combat skills. They will accompany him to this moon. Vader intends to find out what these mysterious attackers are and to destroy them. As the Executor makes its way through hyperspace toward the uncharted moon, the Sith Lord meditates on the disturbance he senses in the Force. He knows there is more at play here than mere jungle creatures. This is an intelligent, deadly adversary, one that has slain his troops and dared to challenge the might of the Empire. The Executor arrives in orbit, and the Elite Strike Team descends onto the moon in Lambda-class shuttles. The once organized base camp is a charnel house, littered with the remains of stormtroopers. Scorch marks and plasma wounds are evidence of the brutal attacks. Darth Vader steps off the shuttle, his towering black figure casting an intimidating shadow over the devastated scene. His death troopers form a tight perimeter, their weapons scanning the dense jungle for movement. They are prepared for battle, but none of them have faced the likes of what lurks in the trees. The jungle is eerily silent. Only the hum of Vader's life support system breaks the quiet as he walks through the carnage. His connection to the dark side pulses with rage as he senses the loss of life. Suddenly, the sharp click of mandibles echoes through the jungle. Something is watching. Multiple beings, Vader can feel them, lurking just beyond sight, hiding behind their cloaking technology. One of the predators makes the first move, launching itself from the trees, aiming its wrist blades at a death trooper but the soldier is faster than the stormtroopers who came before. He pivots and opens fire, sending a barrage of plasma bolts that the Yacha skillfully dodges. It's not enough to save the death trooper, as another cloaked predator lunges from behind, ripping the soldier apart with brutal efficiency. The death troopers react with precision, but they are outmatched by the predator's speed and stealth. Their superior armor provides little protection against the savage melee attacks of the Yacha. One by one, the Death Troopers are being hunted down. Vader watches, unperturbed, his lightsaber remaining dormant. He has been in worse battles. The Yacha have underestimated him. He senses their presence, and with a flick of his wrist, pulls one of the cloaked hunters into the air, its device flickering off to reveal its monstrous form. The Predator struggles against the invisible force holding it, but Vader's grip is too strong. His red lightsaber ignites with a hiss, and with a single swift motion, he decapitates the alien hunter. Its body falls limp, and Vader lets it drop to the jungle floor. The remaining predators roar in challenge. This was no ordinary prey, they would not let such a kill go unanswered. The remaining predators, enraged by the death of their kin, abandon stealth and engage Vader directly. Three of them leap from the trees in unison, their plasma casters firing in rapid succession. Vader deflects the shots with his lightsaber, sending sparks and plasma bursts flying through the jungle. The predators are fast, agile, but Vader is faster. One of the Yacha charges him with its wrist blades, but with a wave of his hand, Vader sends it crashing into a nearby rock formation. Another predator fires its net launcher, attempting to ensnare the Sith Lord, but Vader slashes through the net with ease, closing the distance between them. In a blur of red, his saber cuts the predator down. The final Yacha, the largest and most decorated, adorned with skulls of previous kills, roars in defiance and charges. This one is a true leader, a champion among the Predators. It knows that to defeat Vader, it must fight with every tool at its disposal. The two Titans clash, the Yacha's wrist blades parrying Vader's lightsaber. The Predator's strength is immense, matching even Vader's mechanical power. Each blow is ferocious, each strike calculated. The jungle trembles beneath their feet as they exchange brutal blows. The Predator launches a thermal detonator, but Vader sends it flying back with the Force, causing a massive explosion that lights up the jungle. In the chaos, the Predator swings its combi stick at Vader's head. Vader ducks, but the Yacha manages to land a glancing blow on his helmet, cracking the surface. Enraged, Vader retaliates with a surge of dark side energy, sending the Predator flying into a tree with enough force to shatter its trunk. Breathing heavily, the Predator stands, wounded but undeterred. It pulls out a ceremonial blade, knowing this will be its final stand. Vader advances, lightsaber raised, and in one final, deadly exchange, the Sith Lord disarms the Predator, slicing through its chest with a fatal blow. Vader stands over the fallen Yacha champion, breathing heavily. His lightsaber dims, and the jungle falls eerily silent once more. He surveys the battlefield, strewn with the bodies of both Death Troopers and Yacha alike. His forces have been decimated, but the battle is won or so he believes. Suddenly a rumble shakes the ground. 
Vader looks up to see the sky darkening as an enormous Yacha mothership decloaks above the treetops, its silhouette casting a massive shadow over the battlefield. The ship hovers ominously, silent but menacing, as if surveying the carnage below. Vader is momentarily stunned. This was no mere hunting party. The Yacha had sent an entire fleet. The hum of repulsor lifts grows louder, and from the ship's underbelly, a shimmering beam of light descends, slowly lowering a group of Yacha warriors. At their head is an elder predator, a towering, battle-scarred figure adorned with ancient trophies and ceremonial armor. His presence is commanding, exuding experience and an aura of unquestioned authority. Behind him, his elite bodyguards, the most dangerous and skilled hunters of the Yacha species, fan out, their cloaking devices shimmering in and out of view. The elder predator looks directly at Vader, his mandibles clicking in a gesture of both acknowledgement and challenge. He knows this Sith Lord is unlike any prey they've encountered before. But to the Yacha, this is what makes the hunt worth it. Vader, sensing the immense power of the Elder and his elite hunters, grips his lightsaber tightly. For the first time in years, he feels a true sense of uncertainty. He had defeated the hunters on the ground, but this was something different. The battle was far from over. The jungle air is thick with tension. Vader's mechanical breathing echoes in the silence as he contemplates his next move, his mind racing. The elder predator tilts its head, studying him, as if weighing whether this prey is truly worthy of the honor of the hunt. And then, without a word, the elder lifts its spear, signaling the beginning of the next and most dangerous hunt of all. Vader's eyes narrow behind his cracked mask. The hunters had come for him. The dark side swells within him, preparing him for the bloodbath that is about to unfold. The hunt was not over. It had only just begun. 